Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your tarot reading. So uh, thank you for joining me. <clears throat> um, so when I was shuffling out the spread for you, um, I saw a, a really cute image. Okay, so first of all, I'm looking at a, it looks almost like a dresser top. Okay, it's flat and there is a piggy bank, a porcelain pig with the little slot on its back where you can insert coins and monies and, and such. So it's um, it's a piggy bank. And it's porcelain. It looks like cream, peachy color. And it has like a little bit uh, a flower or some type of a floral design um, near the ear of the pig. So I'm kind of seeing it sideways. Here's the snout, here's the tail. And it's um, medium sized, okay? And then I see this uh, this hand holding a coin, and it's a chubby hand. It's small and it's chubby. It looks to me like a child's hand. And there's this giant coin, and the, the child drops the coin into the slot of the piggy bank, and it makes a really loud clank, okay? So it leads me to believe that the piggy bank was initially empty to begin with. And so that's why, you know, it's, it's like hitting the base of the porcelain pig. And so it's making this noise. So it seems to me like for whatever reason, I feel as if, um, you know, there, there was something in your life. And I feel like, you know, if we're looking at this metaphorically and not so much literally, something felt a little bit empty. Something felt like it was either no longer bringing you joy and contentment. And now there is that sense of like uh, magic and passion and, and something rushing back in to stimulate your life, to give your life meaning, okay? So for some of you, if it was like a, a work situation, it might have felt like stagnant or felt empty or felt unfulfilling in some way. And now there's a burst of fresh air coming into the picture. The fact that it's literally a coin, like a pentacle, indicates to me that you have found something worth fighting for, worth doing, or, you know, whatever it is, it's bringing you a sense of fulfillment and a sense of purpose again. And it's something brand new. And I feel that you're going to be really happy with this new change, this new breath of fresh air literally coming into your life, okay? Um, for others of you, I also feel like this could be on the romantic front. If you have been in a relationship, for example, for a really long time and you were wondering, um, you know, where are things headed? Am I still emotionally fulfilled? Are things stale and stagnating uh, between you and my part and between me and my partner? Are there things that we can uh, do to spice things up? Is there still purpose and, and meaning for me in this relationship anymore? I feel like the month of January is where you or the partner is actively taking a step to reignite passion. For example, taking a trip together, planning something amazing, something a little bit out of the norm so that you can you know, bring back that sense of excitement in a situation so that you realize what's really worth fighting for. And then also in a literal sense, okay? The piggy bank is about finances, it's about resources. Um, I feel for many of you, you were like subsisting, okay? Uh, there were bills to pay, there were, you know, expenses. And for whatever reason, your income was like enough to cover the bare minimum. Um, you might have been, you know, feeling like that financially, you might have been feeling like that empty piggy bank where you don't have enough disposable income to do all the things that you want, to take that trip, to uh, plan that vacation, to buy your lover or somebody who you care about, family members, friends, whoever it is, to buy them nice things, to even buy yourself nice things. So I feel like, you know, financially things might have been a little bit tight. And this is the month where you start to see an uptick in your financial resources to the point where you're able to save, to the point where you're able to have extra money, to the point where you're able to save up and store money away for some future endeavor. So I do feel a lot of planning for many of you as it relates to um, setting money aside so that you can do something really, really big with it, okay? 
Um, I feel earth signs in general, such as yourself, you have been quite responsible when it comes to, you know, expenditures. Uh, and you're quite good about, you know, living within your means and um, uh, not wasting money on frivolous things and buying things um, that, you know, have long lasting va uh, value. Okay, so I feel like you're, you haven't been frivolous with money, but money has been really tight. And I feel like there was more leaving than, than and, um, coming in. And so I feel like the month of uh, February is all about money returning to its source, okay? And finding a lot more financial stability in money. For some of you, there might have been a new job, literally a new job, and a major, major uptick in your financial situation in some capacity. Um, so I feel like this is the year where it's going to be punctuated with financial abundance, financial uptick, and you know, making your money work for you, finding smart ways to invest your money, or even finding ways to save money so that you can do something big, possibly at the end of the year, or you have something big in store, something brand new that's on the horizon, and you're working very, very hard to build up the financial footing or the financial foundation so that when that opportunity comes, you have enough and you don't have to struggle and you don't have to worry, okay? So the two cards that echo this theme here, right off the bat, we have here the Ten of Crystals, this is the Ten of Pentacles, and the Sun, okay? Um, I literally feel like for many of you, there is a new job that's going to be making its, um, uh, its arrival. It, that's announcing its arrival. So I literally see like uh, messages, good news, um, a sparkling, they say like a sparkling drop of sunshine. Okay. And I feel like this is going to be some sweet, amazing news that you have long awaited for regarding a job situation. And I feel for many of you, um, this is something that's going to be putting you in the limelight. With the sun, there is a lot of visibility, okay? It's like a high-powered job where a lot of people are going to be looking at what you're doing. A lot of people might be reviewing what you're doing. A lot of, It's like no matter what, you can't dodge the limelight. A lot of people might be looking at you, looking for you. And so everything that you're doing is going to be um, noticed by other people. And once again, this can be, you know, a double-edged sword, right? In one way, it brings about fame and respect and a lot of like um, people looking up to you literally. And in another capacity, it could indicate, you know, scrutiny, public scrutiny, being in the limelight, and so you're going to draw public scrutiny. And so scrutiny sounds like such a bad word, and it's, it seems to, you know, carry with it a negative connotation. But what I feel in general is you have to make sure that you are acting right, and you have to make sure that whatever you decide to do, you have a just cause for doing it because I feel like people might ask you, you know, people might ask why you have to, to, to ask you to justify your decision, to justify why you took a specific course of action or why you decide on this and not that. And so a lot of the times too, I feel like, you know, Capricorns, um, you guys are like the lone wolf of the Zodiac, okay? You are almost like the Aquarius in that you're very strong-minded you're very willful, independent as well, and being a lone wolf, you know what you need to do, you know what you have to do, you are capable of knowing yourself really well, knowing your skills, knowing your capabilities, knowing how to get yourself from A to B. And so explaining your decisions, explaining your actions to another person, has never been your forte, okay? You, you've never needed to justify what you do to other people. You've never needed to explain yourself. And so I feel that in this new environment, the, the main challenge might be having to over-explain, having to explain to people maybe multiple times to multiple people because those people believe in different things. 
And so I feel in a way where it's not like you're not making excuses for what you're doing, but you're explaining to people why you made these executive decisions to do what you did. And I feel as if you know, if you're not in a position in the, if you have not been in a position in the past where you have to do these things, it can feel a little bit like foreign territory, right? It can feel like everyone is out to get us, right? Here's this predator, okay? This is somebody who's like, you know, basking in the limelight, being very, very happy, and I'm getting like more of a predatory. Stance with this, and so I just want you to know, you know, fame and fortune and visibility and all of that. It is a double-edged sword in that we have to be on the up and up about everything that we do. We have to be accountable for ourselves, and in a way, you have always been accountable for yourself for your actions. But then I also feel like you've never had to defend it either. And so in this capacity, I feel that you know, stick to your guns and say whatever you need to say. Um, I, I I do feel that you know you're going to be. I feel like this financial newfound financial resources comes with it. You know, an equal dose of responsibility, a lot of fame, and also being in the limelight where you have to change your image or you have to you know justify your decisions to other people because they're seeking to understand. Okay, it's not like they're trying to undermine you, but it might feel that way from your perspective if they're asking all these questions. So just know that when they're asking all these questions, it's really because they're trying to understand. All right, and they're coming to you because they believe you're the person with the expertise, and they're trying to understand your perception on why you chose a specific course of action. I mo- I almost feel like they're coming in to kind of pick your brain. Okay, um, I feel that you're very hesitant in this new role. That's what I'm I'm feeling here, and so let me talk about the um. I guess like what's allowing new energy to come in? We have here the nine of cups. Okay, this is wish fulfillment. This is like getting what we want. So for many of you, this is status, prestige,、um, having authority, being seen in a very big way, being respected, being looked up to. Okay, and we have the magician. Okay, and the magician is all about manifesting. Okay, this is somebody who has with that infinity symbol and with the, the the crow imagery. This is somebody who's very powerful. This is somebody who I feel for many of you, you've been working really, really, really hard at your job,、uh, wanting that corner office, wanting that recognition, wanting that pay increase, wanting that、um, that. I want to say like that step up. Okay, the natural progression of things. Okay. And you are also aware of your capability, and you're just like, I know, I know, I know, I know, I can do this, okay? And so you've been eyeing it, and you've been thinking about it, and you've been wanting it for quite some time. And I feel like with this energy here, wish fulfillment and manifesting something that you really have long ago, like you have wanted this, and you've wished for it for such a long time, you're finally getting it. And I do see the the trepidation, okay? This is、uh, all about stepping out of your comfort zone. Okay, I, I I think of this as kind of like the iceberg melting. Okay,、uh, softening your energy, not being icy and aloof and cold. Because I feel like in a lot of ways,、um, Capricorns can be a little bit aloof. Okay, you care just like everybody else, but I feel like emotions are not expressed on your face. You're very even keeled. You're very,、um, I want to say, like poker faced, okay. And so I feel like it takes a lot to thaw you, okay. It, it takes a lot to break that that icy facade, and I also feel that it takes a lot for you to break out a character. But I see a process where you're dealing or working with a lot of people, and I feel that it's mel- melting that icy exterior. And I feel a a an、uh, an old way of doing melting away to pave way for something a lot more authentic.
a lot more that will bring you a lot more emotional fulfillment. So I definitely feel in the career field there's something big, okay, that's breaking through. And then I also feel a lot of trepidation and hesitation on your end, okay. On the one hand, seven of pentacles, working really, really hard, forward movement, forward progression. Um, I'm sorry, this, yeah, this is the seven of pentacles, the crystals. So you've worked really hard and you know your capabilities, you know how far you can go uh, without getting tired, okay? And so I feel for many of you, you're going to be very busy for the month of February. And I also feel a lot of fear here, nine of swords, okay? Once again, this is like the, the little, you know, uh, insecurities coming through, okay? Am I good enough? Am I capable enough? Do I have all the skills? Um, am I, you know, relaying the information a little bit too harsh to that person? Am I being diplomatic enough to this person? Am I considering all points of view? Is there anything else I need to do to soften up? So I feel if you have been, you know, uh, historically considered like aloof, a little bit distant, a little bit cold, a little bit prickly even, I'm sensing that you're going to have to learn either uh, learn it as a skill of survival. Like for example, if you're in an office environment, um, you have to learn to be very diplomatic when you speak. You have to learn to soften the uh, the blow when you're giving somebody negative reviews, for example. You're going to have to learn to... Um, it's like watching our tongue a little bit. Um, learning how the things we say in our head, it might be, oh, it's just a joke or I'm just being sarcastic. But somebody else might not take it that way and they might take offense to it or they might misinterpret it. So we're trying to be a little bit careful about the way we communicate and the ways in which other people might misinterpret the things that we say. And so I feel like you're on watchful, like you're, you're checking yourself. You know, you're checking yourself to make sure that what you say is um, coming off exactly the way that you planned it and that you want to make sure that the other person gets it. So I do feel you're softening up your energy. You're learning to be a lot more diplomatic when dealing with people. You might even have to bite your tongue when in cases where you want to say something. And I feel a lot of this has to do with the fact that whatever new environment that you're finding yourself in now, um, the situation has changed, okay? The situation has changed. Um, I'm also sensing as well, when it comes to communication, page of um, swords, okay? This is kind of, look at this, this creature. It's a little bit shy. It's a little bit like skittish, okay? So raccoons are like scavengers. I always they see them of like, uh, you know, creatures that dig through trash can that dig through and eat our refuse and um, I usually think of this as somebody who would bolt at the first sign of trouble or at the first sign of like some unexpected noise. So this is someone who's very skittish, who is very um, possibly, I'm also seeing like very, very afraid of rejection, very afraid of criticism, okay? Um, inferior, inferiority complex not sure if they're capable, not sure if they're good enough. And I also feel like one of the major challenge for you when it comes to these uh, nudges of self-doubt coming through is, am I good enough? Do I have all the skills? Am I going to be able to, you know, tackle all of these responsibilities? Am I going to be able to, this is the Ten of Wands, by the way, am I going to be able to hold my head up high and valiantly gallop into the night with whatever it is that bundle I need to carry. Am I going to be able to succeed, okay? So the greatest, the greatest challenge for um, a Capricorn person is not about, you know, what life brings, but I feel that you're always in a position to want to test yourself. You want to test your endurance. You want to test your capabilities, okay? And you always like to exceed your limit, okay? And I feel like all of these are very calculated and measure ways in which you want yourself to grow, 
okay? To develop to your full potential in small increments at a time. And so you are very aware of your limitations, of your weaknesses, of your hang-ups, of your skills even. And so I feel like everything in its totality is being tested for this month. And I can say, honestly, you're going to be on top and you're going to come out with a lot of um, people rooting for you and on your side because this is about career success, getting your time in the sun, getting a lot of visibility, getting a lot of respect from people. So career success is really picking up as well as financial abundance that comes with it, okay? This is um, um, experiencing almost like, it's not a drought, it's a situation where water is returning. You can come back into the water. You don't have to live in a dry, parched environment. So I definitely feel uh, with this newfound success, finances is looking very good, okay? So the things that we need to be a little bit careful as we progress through the month of February is especially at the very beginning of it, where we're dealing with soft doubt. We're dealing with a little bit of uh, anxiety and worries about our skills, about our assessments, about whether or not we have made the right call. I'm hearing here the, the call. It's like the call of the calling of the crow okay or the raven or, or a bird a blackbird so like did we make the right call did i make the right call was this the right call I'm, I'm seeing like those thoughts running through your head quite a bit and i feel like you know you make the right call you will go through you know the first two weeks doubting yourself but oh i put those cards in the wrong place but uh that sense of self-trust is going to enter the picture, okay? Um, the last two cards that I want to talk about here is we have two fours, okay? Four of shells, four of cups, and four of um, wands. So first of all, 2020 is a number four year. And a number four year, when I mentioned to the other signs, I always think of it as, you know, four legs to a table, okay? If the table has even four legs, then it doesn't wobble. It doesn't make that annoying wobbly noise whenever we eat on it, whenever we try to study on it, whenever we're, you know, sitting at that table, it doesn't wobble. It's really annoying when a table wobbles, right? You have to like get some cardboard or a piece of napkin and wedge it in one of the legs so that it doesn't wobble. So this is a very foundational type of a year with this number four. It's about building the legs, measuring, being very, very precise with the measurements so that we can build a very solid table. If the table is, is built in a very solid way, we can pile books, furniture, TV, laptops, whatever we may on the table. And if it's built sturdily and it, it, it won't fall over, it won't collapse and it won't, uh, you know, spill, like things will not spill from the table. It will not buckle under the pressure. So these two cards is a major reminder for you, not only to, you know, I feel like work is going to be very busy, okay? This is the Ten of Wands dealing with a lot of work, burning the midnight oil, staying a lot um, behind a lot on your work days. And just make sure you are also, you know, life is not about work and your life is not consumed about with work. Because there is other there are other areas of your life that makes up your life. And in particular, this is the home front for of wants. This is like the happy marriage, the happy home. And then this is the four of cups. This is also your emotional, spiritual, physical health. So these are the two areas that I would urge you not to neglect in light of everything that's going on. You're going to be quite busy, but don't neglect all the other areas because the four legs to the table is not just about work. It's work, it's home, it's emotional well-being, it's also financial well-being. So I do feel a need to really balance out and make sure you take care of all the areas in your life that you deem is important, okay? 
Um, so <clears throat> that's that's that. Uh, there's another message that I want to convey here. Um, when I was shuffling to, I saw like a very quick、uh, snippet. It's just an image, and it wasn't moving or anything, but it looks almost like very Disney-ish. Okay, it looks almost like a mix between. I watch a lot of cartoons, and I like the animation, and I'm very、uh, visual, so I, I like to look at just beautiful imagery. And so, it looks to me almost like a scene from Pocahontas. And also the Little Mermaid, so it looks to me like there's a there's a, a little rowboat heading out towards through like a, a lagoon, and there it's somebody is on that、um, on that boat rowing right towards a a tree. Okay, so there's water. It's row the person is rowing, and there's a tree and there's a face on the tree. So I'm not seeing anything move. But I feel like it's one of those、uh, willow trees, and it has a face in it. So that rowboat picture looks almost like a scene from the movie The Little Mermaid, and then the the, the cartoon with the face. I'm sorry, the tree with the face on it. It looks almost like the Pocahontas、uh, character. And so what I feel is.、Um, it seems to me like it's a message about you know this is a month about self discovery. Okay, that's what it feels like to me. Getting it, it's like spending time with ourselves, taking a moment to ourselves, but also taking on this spiritual spiritual journey. The face that I'm seeing is almost like reinventing ourselves, reinventing our image, reinventing the face that we want to、uh, project out into the world. So, what exactly does that mean? I feel like in the past, this has never been important to you. You know, it was like never, even like it, it never even crossed your mind, because like I said, you guys are very self-sufficient. You don't you don't normally need anybody, okay? You're 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 like very very self-sufficient.、Um, I also feel like you're very stoic. You're very self-contained. In that you don't need to explain yourself to anybody, so I feel like there's something happening here where you are reinventing your image, you're reinventing yourself, you're trying to step outside of yourself and to to you know kind of like look in and try to see how do other people see see me, how do, how do other per- people perceive me, how am I regarded by other people, what is their point of view regarding me? So I feel like people's opinions of you. Matter a great deal, but I don't feel like you're you're narcissistic and self-absorbed. I don't feel that way. I feel that you are aware that is there something other people are seeing that I'm not seeing? Am I projecting myself and my demeanor in the right way? Am I showing frustration to other people that I'm not aware of? So I feel like you're really、um, interested in you know self-improvement. Improving the image, improving your the way in which you come across to other people, being a lot more mindful, being a lot more conscientious, being a lot more、uh, observant, and and I also feel this con- concept about you know no longer being prickly but being warm and cuddly and fuzzy, melting the ice and things like that. Okay, so these are going to do wonders for your self image, and I also feel as as well. I also feel as well. This is like new territory for you, so it's not completely comfortable.、Um, it's like this is kind of like a, a bird that comes out at dawn. That's what I always think of it. It's like a new day. It's a new venture, a new opportunity, a new undertaking, something brand new on the horizon. And I feel like you know the day is dawning. That's what it feels like. Okay, and so. That's what I have here. Okay,、um, I do see as well. There is a、uh, image here regarding like、um, love relationships. I don't see it strongly, but I just want to mention a few things.、Um, it's not coming out strongly in the cards. I feel like it's going to be work, work, work. Unfortunately, Capricorn, you're going to be happy. I mean, money is coming in really strongly, but I, I do feel like.、Um, There might also be a need 
to soften our energy when it comes to dealing with the people that we love, okay? Being a lot more emotionally available, hence this melting of the iceberg or melting of the ice, breaking the ice, even possibly communicating with somebody, wanting to communicate with somebody, wanting to break the ice with another person. I feel heavy air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I'm also feeling... Um, Fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, wanting to break the ice, wanting to make amends, wanting to right a situation, uh, wanting to kind of like overcome some type of a rift or some type of a, an estrangement between you and family members, between you and people you love, between you and a significant person in your life, okay? Um, so I, I'm seeing here where there's a process about you possibly wanting to reinvent your image because you didn't realize that oh i projected myself this way and i had no idea or you know it's like you, you've always been this way and you never thought it was a problem and i don't think it's a problem but now you're just becoming aware so for example and this is just an example um i feel like you know Capricorns, you don't care. You don't you don't really care how you come across, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like you you own what you do, right? Like you own up to it. Uh you're just you. And I feel like for some of you it might be in a professional environment where you have to be careful what you say. So I feel like it's just, you know, occupational hazard. You're going to be televised. You're going to be in the limelight. You're going to be doing presentation. You're going to be commanding a troop of people. And so you have to be a little bit careful or you have to be a little bit diplomatic or you have to censor yourself a little bit, okay? So that's just like the, the nature of the beast, okay? In a corporate work environment. And then for others, I feel like there might have been some type of estrangement between you and a, a loved one. And I feel as if there might have been like a... A situation where something was brought out into the light and you weren't aware of it they might have told you you're not affectionate they might have told you um, uh, they might have told you like you're they, they might have told you that they thought you didn't care about them and you're just like but I did all of these things for you what do you mean I don't care about you and they might have told you, you know, it's the actions, it's it's your tone, it's your voice, it's not your voice, it's your tone, it's the way in which you do things. You just, you know, you never tell me what you're up to. So like, they might say things that make you question like, oh, I didn't realize, you know, so I feel like something's happening here, possibly in a new work environment where you have to change. And something happening here in a love situation where you're not you're you're made aware how your partner perceives you so i do feel there is a situation where you kind of like have to bite the bullet and change because you understand that this change is in the long run is going to be better for you but you guys are also quite stubborn and I feel like you might change temporarily or you might faint, change to adapt and fit this situation. But innately, you never lose that sense of, um, you know, who you are, right? And that's fine. Because I feel like there's still stubbornness, um, resistance, okay? And so those are like the two messages I feel like on the periphery. But the main message is it is going to be a busy month, okay? Get enough rest. All right, and get yourself prepared for this, okay, Capricorns? Um, it's gonna look, it, it's looking to me to be very good, and it, it seems to me that you're gonna be in the limelight a lot, and you're going to be stepping into waters, okay, murky waters, and it's a little bit out of your comfort zone, but you're not going to sink, okay? You're going to be gliding across the water, and you're going to be just fine, okay? Skimming the top. Um, there's a message here about, you know, either calling, like calling, calling, um, reaching out, communicating, skimming as well. I'm hearing skimming, so maybe like you don't have to do a deep dive, but you just want to skim off the top or you just want to skim, okay? Um, so that you have enough time to do everything that you need to do, okay? So being working smart rather than working hard, okay? That might be, that might save the day. It might free you up some time. 
I will leave it at that, Capricorns. I do wish you all the best for 2020, okay? Happy belated birthday. And for those who are uh, still emailing me about personal readings, um, I've made announcement for, I think, about a year now. Yeah, all through 2019. I am no longer doing private readings, so if you're interested in a reading, I have a link in the description box below for a colleague. Her name is Bridget. She is based out of California, and she is a phenomenal reader. I highly recommend that you get a reading with her. Um, and um, that is it. I will see you guys back soon. Take care of yourself and have a wonderful February, okay? Happy Valentine's Day, too. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.